In this video, we're going to learn how to add and subtract integers. So when we look at example one, you'll notice that we're starting to get questions that involve negative numbers. Let's start by solving question A. And the first thing you need to do is you need to take note of the very first number. So in this case, it's negative seven. And I'm going to circle it on the number line above. And when you work with questions like these, you either go to the right or you go to the left. And the way you know which direction to go is when you add or plus numbers, you go to the right. And when you subtract or minus numbers, you go to the left. So when we look at question A, we're adding two. So we're going to the right. And because we're adding two, we're going to the right in one, two steps. And you'll notice that we land on negative five. That gives us, uh, us our solution for question A, negative five. Moving now on to question B, and each time I'm going to rub out my markings. This time it asks us to start at the number three. So I'm going to circle that. That's technically positive three. And it's asking us to subtract. Subtract meaning we're going to the left and we're going to move to the left six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Landing on negative three, which gives our solution to a question B of negative three. Now let's move on to question C. It's asking us to start on negative three. Let's circle that one. And we are adding, going to the right five times. One, two, three, four, five, and landing on positive two or just two. Moving now on to question D. And this time we're starting on negative one. So we're going to circle that negative one there and we are subtracting, meaning we're moving to the left four times. One, two, three, four, and landing on negative five. Now we're on to question E. This time we're actually starting on the zero, which is perfectly fine. And we are subtracting or moving to the left six times. Two, three, four, five, six. And you'll notice this time we actually land on negative six. And finally, question F. This one's going to have a lot of movement because we're adding 18. First of all, we're starting on negative five. And if we add 18 or moving to the right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And we kind of have come to a stop. We've landed on 12. We need to do one more movement, but we can see if we move one more, there would have been a 13 there. So sometimes when you go past the number line, you have to just use, I guess, your imagination and think of what numbers would be past that particular number. Anyway, that concludes our video on addition and subtraction of integers.